And so what we need to do here, when we click the create scriptable object, we need to create a new asset. So that asset, we need to say asset database dot create asset. And what we're creating is going to be our temp spell. And we need to find a place to put this spell. So we need to put it in a resources fol folder for all of our scriptable objects. So that path is going to be assets, which is in the root of your project, resources, which is the folder that we'll need to create. And then inside that folder, we'll create one called spells, because we may have some later that we'll create as well. Plus the temp spell dot spell name. And this is going, what's going to be the name of that asset that's in, that is in that folder. Plus quote dot asset. And then we need to save this out. So asset database, save assets. And after we save the assets out, we need to add this new spell that we just created into our spell manager's spell list. So spell manager, spell list, dot add. And now we're adding a list item in there. And what we're adding is our temp spell that we just created. After we do that, we need to set our um, selected item in our spell creator window. So selection, selection dot active object is equal to temp spell. And then we'll go ahead and set the temp spell back to null. So if we've messed up along the way, let's go ahead and give an option to reset if GUI layout dot button reset and let's create a method to reset and so let's create a method to reset so void reset I'll go ahead and put this in here so reset And basically we need to set all the variables back to null in our spell. So if temp spell temp spell dot spell name is equal to blank and type today then our temp spell dot spell icon is equal to null and our temp spell dot max damage or remain a cost of work to set that to zero temp spell dot max damage is equal to zero temp spell dot min damage is equal to zero and then our temp spell dot spell prefab is equal to null and the last one is going to be our temp spell dot spell collision particle we're going to set that to null all right that should be it for our editor window let's go ahead and save that off and go back to unity and now we need to create these folders resources and spells so let's go back create a new folder called resources And then inside of resources, create a new folder called spells. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out and see if we can create a spell. You'll notice in our top menu that we have a new menu item called spell maker and a new sub menu called spell wizard. Go ahead and select it and it'll give us a pop-up window. And we have the button called create spell, so select it. All right, so let's see what we want to create first. Let's create a magic fireball. So let's call this fireball. And we'll select the prefab. We'll go ahead and grab that fireball and drag it in here. 
I'm not going to put anything for the collision effect right now because I'm not sure what I want to have and it doesn't have to be filled out. And neither does the mana cost, minimum maximum damage. We won't set any of those until we start setting up our targets. But we do need the projectile speed and we'll set that to 100 for right now. So click create scriptable object. Okay. You can see over in Inspector that we have created this. Go ahead and close this window. And in our resources spell folder, we'll have a new asset file, an asset file called Fireball. And it has all of the parameters filled out. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. So next thing we need to do, we need to set up our magician so he can cast these magic spells. So on Galatran, go ahead and create an empty game object and call this um, magic spawn. We need a place where we're going to shoot the magic from. So go ahead and drag it up in front of him. About chest level will work. And maybe out just a little bit. Okay. So let's go back to our scripts folder in the Magician and create a new script called Cast Spell. Go ahead and open it up. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all this stuff. And first thing we need to do is we need to grab that transform for the magic spawn. So public transform magic spawn. Like I said, this will give us a spot where we can shoot the magic projectile from. And call the spell class because we'll need a reference to him. And we're going to create a new list of spells. So public list spell. That's going to be our spell list is equal to a new list of spells. And we can go ahead and add our mana in here, but we don't really need it. But I'll add it anyways. Int mana is equal to hundred. So in start, we need to grab all of the spells out of our spell list. So spell is equal to a spell resource dot load we're loading in our, and we're loading from our spells folder plus the game object dot name and is a type of spell list spell spell database is equal to game object dot find spell manager because this is what's going to have the list of our spells dot get component spell manager spell list let's load all of the spells that are in the spell manager into our spell database for int i equal to zero. We're just going to loop through them all. I is less than spell database dot count I plus plus spell list dot add spell database I. Cool. We've got all those loaded up in there. So the next part is we need a detect when we want to cast our spells. I'm just going to tie this down to the left mouse click for now. So void fixed update. We're using fixed update because we're going to be manipulating the rigid body of the spell prefab. And that is always best used in a fixed update. So if 
input dot get mouse button down and like I said we're going to use our left mouse button so this is where we need to actually um, add the method to cast the magic so void cast magic this magic is going to be from our spell class it's going to be the type of spell that we're passing through to it scroll down a little bit so to do our due diligence so if our spell dot spell prefab is equal to null let's just debug out a warning here debug log warning spell prefab is null must assign a spell prefab simple enough that way the whole thing doesn't crash we can just debug out a log and we'll just return out of this else this is where we're going to instantiate our spell prefab so game object spell object equals instantiate so we're creating what we're creating is our spell dot spell prefab and we're going to start it off from our magic spawn dot position and so that we can look around and shoot a magic projectile and it not just go straight or straight with our body we want it to go straight with our camera whichever angle that we're looking we're going to call on the camera dot main so we're looking for the only main camera in the scene dot get component not companion get component transform we're going to get the transform of that camera and its rotation so whatever way the camera is rotating so will the rotation of our spell object or our spell that we're creating next let's add a rigid body to this spell object so we can add force to it so spell object dot add component rigid body and we need to not use gravity on this we can at a later time if we want a little drop to it but just for right now let's just shoot it straight out so spell object get component rigid body dot use gravity and just set that to false for right now so now to shoot the projectile or shoot the spell object when you say that spell object dot get component rigid body dot velocity so how fast is equal to our spell object dot transform forward times our spell dot projectile speed and then we also need to give this spell a name so we're going to set the spell name and this is the one that we're bringing into the scene it's not going to be um, game object clone of it's going to be spell object dot name is equal to our spell dot name or spell name and let's also tuck these under our spell manager so they're not just sitting out in the root of our um, game so spell object dot transform dot parent is equal to game object dot find our spell manager dot transform all right what else let's see if i'm missing anything oh let's let's destroy the object after let's say two seconds destroying spell object two seconds all right, that should be good.
Let's go ahead and save that and go back to Unity. Let this compile. Let's see if we have any errors. So we've got here. Mm. Yeah, so we forgot to fill out the middle part right here where we're going to actually cast the spell on the input. So cast magic. Spell list. And we're just going to use the first one right now. And then if our spell does not equal null, we're going to go ahead and cast the spell spell. Or cast magic. All right, that looks better. Go ahead and save that and go back to Unity and let it compile. All right, let's go back to Galtran and let's attach the cast spell script. And it is looking for our magic spawn, so grab it, put it on there, and we'll go to our resources spell folder and grab our fireball and add it into the list. And remember, this is a prefab, so let's go ahead and apply that, and everything gets set in there. All right, so let's give this a go and see how this goes. All right, so let's do the mouse button click down, and we are shooting magic. You can see that it is following the camera. And does not have any um, drop on it because we're not using any gravity. But that's great. That's a great start. Fantastic. Now our magician can cast spells. Later on we'll extend this functionality by using pickups and or inventory to select and change spells. But for right now this is a great start. Let's wrap this up here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. Till then.